Hello students, welcome to Show of Sir Classes. This is Himadri Datta. So in today's lecture, we will be solving sequential game with the help of backward index induction method. So we will solve sequential game with the help of backward induction method. Now, how do we solve a sequential game with the help of a backward induction method? First, we need to understand what is a sequential game is all about. Sequential game is when one player makes the first move and other player after following that move makes, the, makes his move. So, in case of simultaneous game, what we have seen when we have formed it in terms of a matrix that one player plays one game and the other player plays at the same time. But here, in case of sequential game, first one player plays, then that player knows what will be the strategies of player 2 if he plays this or that game. So, we will have a better understanding of it with the help of an example. See, there are two players, player 1 and player 2. So, there are two players, player 1 and player 2. So, now say player 1 has two options, that is has two strategies. Left or right. So, Player 1 has two strategies, either 1 and either left or right. Now, after these strategies, player 2 has two more strategies. That is, after this, if you write L here, if you write R here, now player 2 has two strategies. One is up. Another is down, so up, down or up, down. So now if player 1 plays L, player 2 has two strategies. If player 1 plays R, player 2 has two strategies. Now as you can see, player 1 can observe what the player 2 will play before word and play accordingly. This was not the case in case of simultaneous uh, game here as you can see in sequential game the player one can make the best possible choice given player two's choice so now how do we do it for that first say for an example player two's payoffs are given that is their payoff matrices are given one by three 3 by 2, 4 by 2, 2. So, in this game, as you can see, the P of matrices are given. That is 1 by 3, 3 by 2, 4 by 2, and 3 by 1. Now, the things which are at front, that is 1, 3, 4, 3, they are, all these things, they are, we call them the payoff of player 1. So, the play, payoff of player 1 is given by 3, 4, 3, 1. And the payoff of player 2 is given by 3, 2, 2, 1. Now, as you can see, with the help of backward induction, we can know, we can see what will be the player 1's best choice given this payoff matrix payoff this way so now as you can see here say for an example player one chooses r and player two has two options so now for an example player two will either choose this or this now as you can see two is more than one 
player 2 will always choose this one that is always choose up if player 1 plays R player 2 will always choose U now comparing it with this how, what do we get if player 1 plays L if player 1 plays L player 2 has two options this or this as you can see 3 is more than this so player 2 will always play up so now we are left with this and this. Player 2 in both cases will play up. Now if you compare this, then here it is 1 for player 1, it is 4 for player 1. That is the payoff is 4 here for player 1. So obviously player 1 would foresee this payoff matrix and Player 1 would always play R because obviously player 1 knows player 2 will choose U given this 2 which is more than 1 and player 1 can have more value as well. So we would conclude by the method of backward induction we have the Nash equilibrium to be 4 comma 2 which is R U which is R U. So this is how we solve a sequential game with the help of backward induction. So in today's video, we talked about sequential game with the help of backward induction. In the subsequent videos, we'll talk about mixed strategies. We'll talk about the other ways to solve game theory problems. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any query or doubt, you can simply WhatsApp me on this number, which is 9836 793076. It is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is www.showdropsearchclasses.com There you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will get a lot of other materials to have better understanding of the economics concept. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day ahead.